Hey, what's up guys, Dude Tech here. Welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another cool tweaks for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. With that being said, let's get started. Hood player. So when you download the tweak, it will be providing you with this hood for your iDevice, just like so. And it's gonna be providing you with more settings even if you want to open your music so it's gonna be change that hood with your music and i'm gonna be showing you guys how is that gonna be work so under the settings here the first thing that you need to do to enable the button here and then you can choose the dark blur from here so you can enable that or disable that and then here you can choose the automatic color from the album so it's gonna be picked Whenever you play your music, it's going to be take automatically that color from your album. And I'm going to be showing you guys in a second how is that going to be work. And then also if you want to customize the color of your volume blur from here. So you can simply just stop on the color and then you can pick the color from here. As you guys can see, I choose the red color. So if I want to listen for any kind of music right now and just minimize that application here right now. And I want to listen for my music, you guys can take a look for the who right now. So it's going to be colorize himself by its help and pick the color for the music that I already picked, as you guys can see. That's really beautiful if you want to set it on your iDevice. And then the cool thing, once you just touch it, like one touch, it will be disappeared by itself in about like one to two seconds. That's really beautiful. I recommend you guys to download it. It's really beautiful. Give nice touch for your iDevice. Hood player. Another beautiful tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be called Enhanced Switcher Close. So when you download the tweak, it will be giving you more than option once you use your switcher. First, let me talk about the settings here. So when you download the tweak, the first thing that you need to do to enable the button here, and then you can go to home screen and do some customize, giving you a lot of stuff here you can go through. And then the other thing, which is going to be the applications. So you can pick the applications from here, do some stuff on it customize you can do your customizer from here there is a ton of stuff that's going to be providing you here so you can go through and then the other thing which is going to be i'm going to be showing you guys how is that going to be work so when you go to your switcher it's normal switcher as you guys can see but it's going to be providing you a lot of things so when you swap up in any kind of application can you guys see what's going on here so it's going to be giving you a lot of options if you swap down it's going to be giving you a launch option if I want to go back to the switcher and I want to close this one, so I'm going to be switch till I see close, close that, and it just disappear. It's gone. And you can dismiss the switcher here, and then you can close, and then you can do a lot of things, as you guys can see. Let me just go back here, showing you guys again, and let, let me just bring that closer so you guys can see. So launch and dismiss the switcher, close, and this is how is that going to be work. This is how is the enhanced switcher close is going to be work and if you guys want to close everything this is possible and it can be work and here when you go to your home screen it's going to be providing you with more option and then you can customize that by yourself under the settings so here if i want to close every single thing that's possible and then you can do that even you can respring from here so you can set that and then you can launch as simple as that highly recommend you guys to download that tweak because it's going to be make your switcher beautiful and then the other thing is going to be providing you with a lot of things that is going to be make it simple easy for you using your iDevice and there you go guys enhanced switcher close see the package is up to date and i think the name just explain himself so when you download the tweak what that way is going to be provide you new with is going to be set most of the packages on your CD application up to date. This is what a tweak is going to be providing you with under the settings. There is nothing to configure. It will be work right away once you open your CD application. If you looking for that kind of stuff, there you go, guys. CD packages up to date. Ask before calling too. When you download the tweak, it's going to be providing you with a lot of things. So when you want to make your call, when you want to send an email, you name it, it's going to be providing you with a message. That message will be pop up on your screen. And I'm going to be showing you a second. How is that going to be work? Okay, so when you jump to the settings here, the first thing that you need to do to enable the bond here. And then the second thing 
if you want to swap on order you can you can just enable that or disable that from a toggle here the other thing you can enable that with the email you can enable it with the messages you can enable it with the phone calls you can enable it with the facetime facetime audio and video and then you can enable it for siri phone calls other two options you can disable the ios uh, call permissions and then the enable block called id option what i'm going to be do right now just demonstrate that and then show you guys how is that going to be work so i'm going to be writing email here okay so i finished right everything and i'm going to be top on send this is what is that ask before calling to this is what is that going to be providing you with are you sure you want to send that to is going to be providing you with a final destination to the name when you would want to call somebody is going to be providing you with the same question so it's going to be up to you yes cancel is going to be up to you with that tweak right there is going to be providing me with attention about who you're going to be sent the email to or who you you want to call and it's going to be provide me with a name and that's double check about the call the email or the message there you go guys ask before calling to Another new tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be cold left clock. Okay, so once you download the tweak, the first thing that you need to do to enable the bond from here. And then once I download the tweak, once I enable the bond from here, take me to the save mode right away. I don't know. My device just like shut down, respring, and it take me to the save mode. Reset that and then just respring the device again. And then when it's get back, I, I see the uh, switch here, it's enabled and the tweak, it's work. My time is already moved from the middle all the way to the left, as you guys can see here. So it work. That's why I just want to give you guys a heads up about that. The second thing, when you enable the bond from here, you need to go to enable the clock. So you can move the clock from the middle all the way to the left. Show lock screen clock, so you can enable that from here to show your clock on the left. The way as you guys can see it right now is going to be set it or if you want to set it using the toggle from here if you want to set it on your lock screen so i'm not talking here about just the uh, clock by itself but it's going to be providing you with more stuff so you can go to enable the activity here and then you can enable the location from here so you can move those even you can enable the battery so you can move the battery the way you like so you can keep set it on your, your right side or you can bring that and switch that location from the right to the left the way you like so even the percentage of the battery you can just enable the switch here and then you can move it from right to the left or keep it on the left or right the way you like you name it this is what is that tweak is going to be do and again once i enable the switch for that tweak take me to the safe mode i respring again and once i get back again to my device i see the time switch from the middle goes all the way to the left as you guys can see it might is going to be my device just pay attention for that don't blame me and don't tell me it's your fault because you crashed my device i i don't know it's going to be my device or it's normal once you enable the tweak there you go guys if you're looking to download the tweak the tweak called left clock I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, please just like always give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel for more videos. I see you guys in the next video. This is Do Tech. Thanks for watching.